Inside the Story with John Wertheim. This week on 60 Minutes, we meet Sia Khaleesi, the first black captain of the South African rugby team, the reigning World Cup champions. He's the one lifting the trophy here in 2019. When you won the World Cup, you said, I've never seen South Africa like this. What did you mean by that? The celebrations. Oh, man. It was lit. People were celebrating. It was full. It was beautiful to see, you know. When Sia Kulisi picked up the World Cup, the most emotional moment, I was there. High praise from Francois Pinar. He captained South Africa to glory in 1995. It was just, for me, incredibly important because, again, we united, and sport unite, united us since 95 to 2019. It was Pinar who stood famously atop the podium with Nelson Mandela, who a year into his post-apartheid presidency was trying to unify a racially divided country. Mr. Mandela hands you the trophy. Do you remember what you said to each yeah, other? Yes. He handed me the trophy and he said to me, thank you, Francois, for what you've done for this country. And I couldn't believe the words. And I actually said to him, no, thank you, Mr. Mandela, for what you have done for this country. I had to gather myself not to cry. There was one player of color on, on your team. Chester. Twelve years later, South Africa wins the World Cup again. This time there are two. This transformation was slow going, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. And the reason for that is equal opportunities. Um, in a sport like rugby, you need to do it from a young age to get really good at it. And there has not been that in abundance for people that are living in poverty, to have equal opportunities to play rugby. And this was my street I used to walk to the school. Sia Khaleesi was one of the lucky few. He grew up in poverty in the black township of Zwide, outside Port Elizabeth often playing barefoot on thorn-laden fields before he caught a break. Now he wants to pioneer change. You were discovered here and then sort of plucked out and placed in this, this private school. That's not what you want for the next generation, no, is it? No, I want the resources to come here the, to fix this field and also get a, a school here so kids can have a choice, you know, so they don't have to go to other communities to make it because we want to empower our communities. We want the young kids here to see us each and every single day, not take the best out of here and put it somewhere else. Right. The, the solution isn't to find the next Sia and put them in a private school. It's bring the private school opportunity yeah. and privilege yeah. here. Yeah, and there are many people like me uh, who are better than me in rugby, in sport, in education. They just need the resources. Through their foundation, C and his wife Rachel are bringing resources to South Africa's impoverished townships. We all have a right and responsibility to make sure that everybody has an equal opportunity like everybody else. And that's the only way that our country will come right. That's what we need to realize. No matter how well you're doing, as long as there's still people suffering, the, our country is not winning. The more we all do well, then we're all pushing to make sure that South Africa is doing great. We're all working. We can all get great opportunities. That's how the country goes for. That's how we move from a third world country to becoming a first world country when everybody's doing well. 